Hey, what's up? I'm Brian Garris. I sing in Knocked Loose. So we're here at the Market HQ, and this is my design freestyle. This is sick. It's crazy. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a hoodie. Nice. I love the quality of this. I'm so picky about how hoodies fit me. Oh, we have a rugby. This is crazy. White tee. Best thing on earth. I wear a white t-shirt every single day of my life. A pillow. Made in Oldham, Kentucky. This is sick. Where Knock Loose is from is a town outside of Louisville, Kentucky called Oldham County, Kentucky. A lot of people say Old Ham, but it's Oldham. The Shining. So this is my favorite movie and my favorite book. I have like so much Shining stuff. I just have like an entire shelf of like toys and the movies, the made for TV movie. Like I have a tattoo, so this is sick. What else do we have? What is this? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. It got me. I didn't even get it all the way open. It scared me. Oh, this is cool. Looks like we have a bunch of designs. Oldham County. When we started touring internationally, we went to the UK and there's a town in the UK called Oldham. The sweatshirts go crazy there, but people don't know that it's from Kentucky. They think we just made it for them. Got a couple more. This is sick. I love the old English look. I love this market design. It's so sick. This looks like band merch. I think that's it as far oh, yeah. as the box. I think I'm gonna start with the white t-shirt first just to get warmed up. I love things that kind of look like misprints. I feel like it's a little bit more more special because it wasn't like mass produced or something. So I think that I want to kind of like emulate that. I love this thank you, have a nice day. I think I'm gonna do that like right in the center. So me and the bass player have actually known each other since like elementary school. He lived across the street from my cousin and I saw him playing with lightsabers one day and I just walked over and asked him if I could play. We've been friends ever since. But our guitar player, Isaac, when I met him, he was like 13. Our bass player actually knew him before I did and he asked if I wanted to come jam with this kid that he met on Facebook. When I was a kid and I would buy shirts from Hot Topic, they would do that crazy like, uh, like hip print. I think that would be really cool. I've seen a couple bands try to bring it back. I don't think it's really sticking. I would play it anywhere. We've played at a bunch of weird places like that. Taco shops and we've played in a morgue. We played in a slaughterhouse in Sweden. I'm down for whatever. The slaughterhouse was really interesting, but when we pulled up, we were like, this looks terrifying. From room to room, you still had to walk through like the giant plastic curtains. The whole thing just seemed like so haunted. We played a morgue in um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It maybe legally was like 150 cap room. And I think there was like 450 people there. By the time we played, I was just so much a part of the crowd that I couldn't put my arms down. I just kind of had to like sing like this. Yeah, injuries are just unfortunately a part of it. I feel like teeth get knocked out a lot. I watched while we were playing somebody break their leg. I was on stage and felt like I was gonna throw up. Cool, I hope this tape works. Uh, I'm gonna do the rugby now. We've, we've never done a rugby. I think they're so cool. I feel like I wanna do something a little bit cleaner. I don't like the like Jinko thing, to each their own, but it's just not my thing, I don't know. For one show, yeah. <laughs> I think I just wanna do something clean and simple for this one. So we actually just switched to like bus touring this year. We've always been the kind of band that's just down to do it in a van. And we did that for uh, seven years. Going into last year, we toured with Suicide Boys and it was our very first time ever touring in like an arena. So we knew going into that, that we like needed legit production, legit crew. That's touring at like a level that we never really thought we would tour in. So I don't know, it's awesome. Last but not least, the hoodie. For the hoodie, I, I think I'm going classic Oldham design. I wanted to be an English teacher. A lot of people that I like in music 
have that background. I know like the singer of Every Time I Die, like somebody that I looked up to a lot when I was a kid. And he like had a period of time where he was teaching before Every Time I Die. And I wasn't there long enough to actually start that. I was just doing like my, uh, my basic stuff. I went for I think two semesters and I was working at Amazon at the time. I was working like five in the afternoon to 4.30 in the morning. And then I would sleep in my car in the parking lot of my college to go to my 8 a.m. class. I think I'm done with this. All right, I'm very stoked with how these turned out. We'll start with the t-shirt. Here's the front. I like that it still kind of looks clean. Uh, like I said, I wear white t-shirts every single day. Uh, the hip print turned out so cool. When I was a kid, when I was in like middle school, high school, and I was just like buying any and everything off the Hot Topic wall, there was this band Drop Dead Gorgeous, and they had a t-shirt that was just plain black with just the hip print, and I thought that was so cool. And then the back, I think is so cool. I really like that Knocked Loose logo. The rugby, I think, is so cool. Like I said before, we, we've never done anything on this kind of garment. I kept the front simple. I, I didn't want to make it too messy. I, I think that the clean look for the rugby is the best. And on the back, I put the collab. And it's very cool to see uh, the hand with, with the market logo. I think this turned out really cool. This is definitely something that I would wear. And then last but not least, my favorite thing, the hoodie, the classic Oldham hoodie over top of the market design. I think that that turned out really, really cool. When we started doing the Oldham hoodies, I, I really didn't think that they would catch on or that people would buy them just because it's so niche and, and it didn't have our name. And so a way that I kind of tied that in together is I always keep the K slash slash L um, on the sleeve. It was cool that that was available so I could make it as much like a knock loose hoodie as possible, but it's like we just print it over top of a market hoodie. I think that that's really sick. This is. Definitely my favorite thing that I got today. Okay, if you wanna buy any of this stuff, you can go to marketmarketmarket.com. The whole collection should be available. Very, very grateful for this opportunity. It's been a very exciting day. I'm Brian from Knocked Loose. Thanks for having me.